Question number 11 is also on statistics. It is to analyze standardized data and, and, and distributions by using z-values. z-values is a very important concept. We will learn about it in just a while. But there are not only these type of problems, there are also, you know, paragraph problems. We'll look into them now. The first question over here is to track the preliminary times. Oh, yeah, it's already given, okay? Uh, times of 110 meter hurdle race are, that are shown over here. Create a histogram of the set of data. Determine whether the data can be approximated with a normal distribution. Now, here they're first asking you to graph this based on histogram. Now, graphing in histogram, it's, you know, looking based on the value. I'll just do a rough graph. Uh, say we have to do it in ascending order. I can see the lowest value is somewhere over here. And then let's see which is the other range. See, 14.25 is the lowest value. Next is 14.35, you can see, and 31 is also there. There are a bit of values over here. And then we can see six somewhere over here. And what about seven? There are plenty of seven. You can see seven, five, seven, 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 four, and then also the eight, one, eight, two. So you can see over here, there'll be many, something like this. And then, yeah, that's it, right? There is nine, three. See, there's a gap between the last, last but one value is eight, four, and then there is a gap and again. So histograms, if you do, it'll be something like this. Let's just look at the answer and compare. See, you can see the histograms over here. See, mine is not very accurate, but you can see the resemblance. There was a bit of values high and low because they have, let's see the histogram and uh, analyze. Here you can see 14.75778384. There are many seven to eight. So they are huge over here. Whereas only one nine three and only few three and all. Okay, there are very less. So based on that, we can do the histogram. Now look over here. That is histogram, which is very easy, graphing. But is it a normal distribution? Normal distribution is always something like this. Is it having that? No, this is skewed, right? See over here, this is a skewed distribution. So no, this is uh, not a normal distribution. Among skew also, you might remember there is positively skewed, negatively skewed. Now you can see uh, the values are less at the beginning and then high. This is negative at the beginning, so it's negatively skewed. If the values were something like this, high and then low, this will be positively skewed. So this is negatively skewed, but this is skewed data, so this is not approximated by a normal curve. We have another problem here. The normal a normal distribution has a mean of 186.4 and the standard deviation is 48.9. This is given. What range of values represent the middle? 99.7 of the data. Then what percentage of data is greater than this point? And what range of values represent the upper 2.5 of the data? Okay, we will do one by one. The first question, what range of values represents the middle 99.7? You must know the graph of standard normal distribution. This normal distribution, it's very important. We will look into a graph. This is a normal distribution. Here, the middle one, see the middle line, which is there, that is the new, the mean. See, it's given over here. And we have the mean 186.4. That is the mean. What is the standard deviation given? 48.9. That means, can you see the next line? It's told one sigma. Sigma is the symbol. Now, this much is basically a difference of 48.9. Okay? Same way. Over here, if you go back side, it will be again 48.9. If you see another bar over here, from one sigma to two sigma, from one to two standard deviation, there will be again 48.9 and so on until three standard deviation now this is the mean everything before this is 50 percent don't you agree why because this is half and remaining right side is 50 percent now they have told one another important thing can you see this part over here this much includes all the 68.3 data this is the most important part of the data in a normally distributed uh, occurrence Middle part will always have 68.3 data. If it's skewed, no, skewed, no. Last problem we had skewed, no, this it's not possible to use. 
only when it's normally distributed like this see up and down like a bell curve and then if you go up till the second standard deviations right minus 2 you have 95 99.5 percent whereas if you extend it till three standard deviation from year to year 99.7 percent of the data is included and this is what they have asked what's the range now how do you find the range let's find this point how much is this point sigma minus three sorry new new uh, this new means mean minus three times standard deviation so we know the mean is 186.4 minus 3 into 49.9 a uh, 6 9 48.9 okay so this is one point this is this point from here till where till this point that is mean minus plus three times this standard deviation and the answer will be 186.4 plus 3 into 48.9. That's it. Now we can put this in calculator and solve. Let's just see the answers because it's already there. But you can try putting in the calculator. You'll get two answers. And you can see here the interval will be these two. Now it's very important to understand the lower limit, right? 39.7 is this point. 39.7 the upper limit 33 333.1 is this point so all the values within this see all this right will include the 99.7 percent of the data so within these this much interval you will have the 99.7 percent of the uh, distribution of data now if you go to the next part what percentage of data will be greater than 235.3 it's again simple Oh, where is two? Let's count what is 235.3. We have to take our calculators. Let's type this out 186.4 plus 48.9. One time. Let's see what's the values. Okay, that is the value itself. See, this resembles. That means this particular value which you want is over here. I added. Obviously, I will add because the mean is over here 186.4, 235 is greater. That's why I directly added. I don't subtract. From here, from mean to one standard deviation, you will get this given data, population data. So it's just from uh, all data less than is 50%. This much is all 50%. But see over here, the data between sigma plus one times nu. See over here. This is basically this point is, sorry, mean, mean plus one time standard deviation. That is mean plus new, uh, mean plus sigma. M this symbol is called new. This symbol is called sigma. This is mean and this is standard deviation. Now here we have one of the range and from where to where? This is the end point from where? From the mean, right? From mean. To this point so that's the thing but if they are asking you what percent of data sorry here you need to add few things see what percent of data that means all this percent right so it will be see for, till new it is 50% plus over here how much is it see now let's just look at this this much is 68.3 right but we generally round it off to 68. Now, what is this remaining? 34. Okay, this is 34.15, but we generally round it off to 34. And so it is 50 plus 34, that is 84% of the data. Now, what percent of data will be greater? Oh, sorry. Now, they are asking what percent of the data will be greater. Now, this is all at the left side. What percent of great see over here? This is the answer basically. Why they're asking what percent of the data will be greater than this point? We found out 230 235.3 was this right? Sigma plus new. Okay, we found out this one. They want what percent greater. So this is the answers. Okay, let me just erase the left one. This one, this is the all the solution point. So anything that is greater than this point, see, that's why the interval is greater than uh, mean plus standard deviation. Or if you want to find the value, substitute the values. 
186.4 plus 48.9 that is 235.3 but we do want that we have to write it in this uh, notations okay so this is the answer this is very important that's it because we are just find where does that fall and see how many standard deviations it is having now last one what ranges of value represent the upper 2.5 percent of the data look over here where is uh, the last 2.5? Really, the last 2.5 is from here to the end. Okay. Let me, yeah. So the, these and these. You can see here this point onwards and this point before, but they won't just the upper value. So anything that is above this two standard deviation, new plus two standard deviation. This is the answer. Why over here minus is not considered? Minus is not considered because what range upper 2.5. So this much, this part and the, whatever is ahead of it and over here also whatever is ahead will have 2.5% and this will have 2.5% whatever it's ahead. So we want just the upper part. So it is sigma, sorry, new plus 2 sigma. That is mean plus 2 standard deviation over here. Now if you want to find the value because they have not mentioned it, we can just do 186.4 that is the mean plus 2 times sigma that is 49. So the answer you can put in the calculator. Let's see over here there is the answer. You can put in the calculator and get it. That would be the answer. So anything values x uh, interval values x values anything above it would be the answer. Now we are coming to the z value problem. So till now we were just exploring normal distribution, the basic normal distribution. It is very important to know this normal distribution. If you want further understanding, the entire lesson explanations are available. I hope you already know that each lesson explained. So please try to refer that. I'll put the link in the description as well. Now we will look into the sixth uh, example six problems that is from eight to 10 we have from 6 to 10 but the first two were different now from 8 to 10 are just finding the z value now z value is only found out in normal distribution what exactly is the z value now over here see there is a distribution right like this normal distribution now this is the mean right 186.4 now if i tell you say find 200 where is this coming where is it exactly by finding the z value it will tell you where exactly it is if i get the z value say because i uh, over here there is standard deviation you can find the z value now if i solve this i'll take a rough approximate this z value will be about 0 0.5 it's not exact but somewhere over here so what does it tell us from the mean positive 0 0.5 means from the mean half of the somewhere over here will be the 200th value uh, which x is 200 somewhere over here so the z value 0 0.5 means the number of standard deviations the value is away from the mean number of standard deviation it is away 0 0.5 means it's 0 0.5 standard deviation away from the mean if it was minus then it will be left side over here if it is say plus 2 standard years 2 only say 2 that means it's over here at this point okay that is the z value description it is very helpful to understand where a particular value is lying now here we have all the given values we just have to know one formula that is this one oh, the entire answer again but anyways just memorize this formula this is a very useful formula z equals this is the given interval x minus new this is the mean value divided by the standard deviation it doesn't matter it's plus or minus it doesn't matter if it is minus that means it's from the left side of the mean uh, positive means more than the mean now here if you substitute these values look over here x is 55.4 minus uh, mean is 68.34 divided by standard deviation is 9.8 the answer over here will be negative 1.32 look at these values this x value which is asked to be found is less than the standard uh, sorry mean not standard deviation the mean so this is understandable that you will have a negative answer just by looking at this because it's less than and now if you apply the standard deviation you will get approximately exact value where it is lying 
sorry, not approximately, I told approximately. Sorry, you will get the exact value how far it is lying. Please do try the next problem by yourselves. The formula is very simple. Z equals, this is important to be written first, minus mean. If it was other way around, you will get a wrong answer here. See, if it is more than mean, you will get a positive answer. If it's less than mean x, you will have a negative answer divided by sigma notation. So all you do is substitute the values. The z value will be equal to 42.8 minus 68.2 divided by 11.6. Now looking at this, I know the x value is less than the mean, so it will be a negative answer. You can just use the calculator to solve here. All you need to do is substitute the value that is 42.8 minus 68.2 divided by 11.6. The answer is, it's negative, but 2.1896. Sorry, 2.19 approximated to two decimal digits only, but negative because it's less than mean. Try the next one as well by yourselves and please do check the answer. Here, look over here, the x value is greater than mean. The final answer will be positive. You can see the answer is 0.57. That means this value lies, this particular value 0 0.57 lies, uh, sorry, x value of 119.2 lies 0 0.57 times the standard deviation away from the mean. That's what exactly it means. So that's the end of this particular topic 11. Please remember the formulas, understand the formulas and use them well and then easily solve the problems.